a little downswing, lower Absolutely. body. Absolutely. So I have some parameters that I use, whether I use a shadow drawer, I use some chairs here to make players understand where they should be with their pressure. Um, so we're going to demonstrate right now with these chairs. Awesome. So jump in between there. Okay, so, so we've created a little station. You can do this at home, on the range, wherever. So I try and create like a, a golf ball size here, just so you can demonstrate that this is your end goal is getting into this impact right about here. So that's your final destination right there, okay? So in the meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and go back to address. And I have a lot of my players try and create a little space here, roughly about a golf ball. And that's keeping the pelvis roughly inside the foot, okay? So there's not a lot of push. And this is interesting. I almost feel like I'm kind of moving towards the target a little bit. So if, if, you're, if you're someone who kind of moves off it a bit, I mean, I'm literally feeling like my, my pelvis is going that way a little bit. Absolutely, it does. Okay. okay. And so the, for the reason for that is now that we don't, we're not over here, we don't have to push back over to center. Okay? Right. So that's going to be one of the concepts we're going to try and do here. Okay, so, so we're making a, almost a pure rotation backswing with not much lateral motion. Absolutely. Creating a little bit of a ball right here. Like a golf ball. That's a little more than I'd like. Right about, yeah, right about there. Okay. Good. Absolutely. Awesome. So let's do it. Go up top. Okay. So we're gonna go to the top here. I'm gonna move this back in tight to him, okay? And his first move down is gonna be lead side low right there and all the way around while I keep the arms up. That gives him time to rotate, okay? okay. So I'm, I'm sinking down. Absolutely. I feel like, since I'm not doing a lot of lateral motion, I'm almost sinking into my right foot a little bit. It's not purely, but more pressure there than obviously Absolutely. if I'm going left quite a bit. Absolutely. And what's making pressure go forward is this lead side of the pelvis going lower right here. And we're gonna get into that in one sec. Yeah, okay. so, but, but I think, this is a great way to kind of give the, the general picture of the shape you're trying to create in your downswing with your lower body motion. Absolutely. One of the things that's so important with this style, I believe, is when we start down to get the rotation, we gotta do some interesting stuff with right foot. So why don't we Absolutely. Let's do talk it. through this and show them a drill for that. Okay. So, okay, you so we have a little, like a slider here. So it's, it's basically a slippery sort of surface that's on contact with the ground. Absolutely. So what I have my players do is I have them go all the way to the top same parameters. And the first thing I do is I have them actually feel like they're twisting their foot here. Boom, clockwise, okay? And as they're doing that, go ahead and go to the top and stop. I still have them open this left side up as they do that. See that right there? Stick so go up it. top again, all the way up, torque it back. There you go. So they're still in a position. Now this is crazy, because this doesn't look like a golf swing. Absolutely but what's not. happening is I'm firing my muscles in a way where there's a slippery surface. My foot goes that way, but as soon as I take this away, it's completely different. And get on the ground. So then what I do is I, after that, I said, go to the top. I'll push their foot into the ground. Now go ahead, boom. And what that does is opens up this left side. Right. It actually gets this whole femur bone to go external and it actually digs in the ground. So they're actually rotating more this So the side. same motion that with that slider made my foot go this way. Absolutely. Now that I have some friction, it's actually gonna make my pelvis go that way. Absolutely. Awesome. So, so that's this is a way without lateral motion to really get some Absolutely. rotation as I start down. So just be careful as you're doing it that if you're over here and you're trying to do it, you're gonna get in big trouble, okay? You're gonna start pushing and get yourself in trouble. So creating the ball is not mandatory, but for this move, if you are gonna move off it, be careful that you get some later extension and you fall back if you're gonna use that move. Don't get stuck on your back foot doing it. That's a very important thing to, to understand. Yeah, absolutely. And this is something you can use a slider. If you had socks on a hardwood floor, you could use that. Anything that's Those sort of slippery against grass. If you had some shoes that had like a fur bottom, like, like a pair of Gucci's, you could possibly use those, <laughs> absolutely. right? Absolutely, always getting Gucci. All right. So, okay, so now the next part that's super important to this is you mentioned it before, I'm twisting that right foot, sinking down. Getting pressure forward. Getting okay. pressure forward, and this is staying low enough. Without moving too much body mass, okay? So a lot of people think of getting pressure forward as a big body mass shift, and all we're doing is we're getting the lead side of the pelvis lower. So he's gonna put in this actual stick in his belt and run it all the way through, because if not, you're gonna hit your hands in the downswing. So go ahead, Chris, go up top. Okay. So look at, if you watch him go lead side low, naturally a lot of people want to move their whole spine to this direction. If my spine's neutral with this lead low, it's actually gonna be tilted this way. Absolutely. So I gotta make a little bit of a... Actual, that's gonna keep you centered right there. So the lead side low with the right little bend will keep you very centered. So now he's saying some terms, you know, that just to make sure it's clear for you, for everybody at home, this lateral bend, it's coming from, say my rib cage up, it's tilting that way a little bit, which is gonna make that overall orientation of my spine Absolutely. not so tilted forward. Absolutely. I almost feel as though my right shoulder is kind of digging into my side a little bit, Absolutely. but I'm not doing it with like a full body tilt in any For sure, I'll feel it from like a crunch in like my rib cage right here. So same thing as dropping the shoulder, they're all the same thing. Awesome. Whatever's that's, easiest. So, okay, let's, let's go through this again. So we're okay. going to the top. Okay. Got the ball on the right side. Absolutely. Take twisting. 
Good, so your, sting your low. pressure's there, good. Now, from here, what we're gonna end up doing is show a little too much push, okay? Show just straight turn, okay? We're gonna remedy those two together, good. Keeping this right bend here as we're pushing and extending, keep going, boom. Now, tell them how you actually continue to turn with the feet. Okay, so with the feet, I'm trying to push late this way yeah. and this left foot's actually driving this way to keep everything going absolutely keep that rotation going absolutely because it's not so much we just go from an external position to internal we've got to use the feet to continue to clear and we're not just pushing without having a, a opposing force going back the other way otherwise yeah. we're just going to move it's straight every up. good golf swing with the lower body motion has a little bit of of lateral and rotation we're absolutely. just trying to say in this instance it's just less on the lateral side it's just more you know rotation without that lateral motion absolutely okay so now you do this awesome drill this wild thing with your students where you actually move them around absolutely so why don't we why don't we try this okay see how this turns so let's out. do it as a practice just so you can get a feel for so let's move away from the ball just one ball and we'll do one okay, practice okay. just so you can get kind of a timing for it so let's move you right about here a little bit more now dig in the ground boom and push and turn boom one now do it full speed no stopping good okay so we're going to try that so what i'm doing here is i'm pushing his femur out this way and i'm pulling this femur back and around so it's going around this way external. So let's yep. do one. You ready? Sure. Good, one more. So I just gotta make sure he completes his turn before he did it. I did that a little early there. A little early, but let's that still felt pretty interesting. Okay. Good, beautiful. That was a good shot. So that looked good, how'd that feel? I mean, it felt crazy. I felt like I was staying more behind the ball in transition because yeah. I'm not sliding ahead of it, which is a tendency that I have actually with my own Myself swing. Myself too. Um, and then I felt like, you know, I was so behind it that I had tons of time to square the face and sort of deliver it more down the target line. It felt Absolutely. really good, actually. Good. Awesome. Well, look good. George, thanks, man. Really appreciate you coming. That was awesome. My pleasure. I had a great time.